I'm Bill Gotts with Axion Power, and today you're going to get a look inside an Axion Power Cube. The Power Cube is a large scale battery energy storage system. The versatility of the Power Cube can be tied to the grid in front of the meter and controlled by the utility, or behind the meter for applications like demand response. The Power Cube is also designed for off grid as a standalone system, providing instantaneous power and eliminating the inefficient use of idling gensets while significantly reducing diesel fuel consumption and CO2 emissions. The system can be hardwired directly to the main distribution panel or sub panel for long term applications, or for mobile and short term applications, can be connected using high amperage plugs or cam locks just like a generator making the Power Cube one of the easiest systems to plug and play. The Power Cube is designed to be integrated with renewables. The DC power output can be connected directly to the Power Cube, eliminating high cost of wind and solar inverters. The intermodal container allows for ease of transportation and mobility worldwide. Modular in design, the Power Cube can be scaled up to multi megawatts by simply adding additional containers. The water and wind tight structure, along with integrated climate control, allows the system to withstand harsh environments, regardless of the geographical location. The power cube is comprised of several key components. The most important is the 480 volt PBC battery pack. Each pack is modular in design, housing 40 12 volt PBC batteries in a custom seismic rated rack. Multiple battery packs are paralleled to allow for a specified energy rating ranging from commercial and military up to large grid scale. The unique design of the PBC battery allows the 40 battery string to self-equalize in a partial state of charge, significantly reducing one of the most common battery failures in large strings. Due to the safety of the PBC battery design, the need for costly thermal management and liquid cooling is eliminated. Another vital component is the power electronics. The robust inverter is bi-directional able to take in power as fast as it can discharge and is liquid cooled to prevent any thermal management issues. The inverter is integrated with Axion's proprietary battery management and monitoring system or BMS. The BMS monitors every single battery in the system and can remotely notify the operator in the event of an error. The BMS is integrated with a programmable logic control panel or PLC. The PLC is the brains of the system as it directs energy throughput, able to respond within milliseconds of a utility signal or power outage. The PLC can be remotely accessed through a secure virtual private network or VPN. As long as the power cube can get internet access or a wireless signal, you can remotely monitor and control the entire system from any location. Safety is our number one priority. The Power Cube is equipped with precautionary state of the art safety features. The fire suppression system is designed with a 3M non electrically conductive clean agent, providing the widest margin of safety for humans and the most environmentally friendly dry agent on the market today. The fire suppression is integrated with a dual gas monitoring system for both hydrogen and hydrogen sulfide. Both safety systems are monitored remotely through the PLC to ensure one of the safest and most complete systems on the market today. Hi, I'm Mike Romeo, Senior Scientist at Axion Power, and today I'm here to demonstrate the simplicity of changing out a battery in the Axion Power Cube. The first thing that we did for safety's sake was to shut down the system and then isolate the string from the rest of the system. Uh, this is a 480 volt string, so it can be dangerous, which is why I'm wearing my protective rubber gear and I have my protective tools. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the battery from the rest of the string.
Once the battery is disconnected, it can easily be pulled out of the rack by itself. As long as you ensure that none of the electronic components get tangled as you remove it. So, as you can notice, it takes about 60 seconds, maybe even less, to get the battery out of the rack. And because of the light weight of the PVC battery, it can easily be lifted back up and put back into its space. Now to do the opposite, we will of course hook the leads back up in their respective terminals. For both the inner battery connections and for the battery management system. We do use a torque wrench to tighten down the connections just to make sure that they're tightened properly, not too tight and not too loose. So, as you can see, due to the simplicity of this, of this system, along with the lightweight quality of the PVC battery, this job can be done in five minutes or less.